Come on. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's not morning. <laughs> Dang it. Good day. <laughs> Good day! Good day, everybody. Hello, everybody. I hope whatever you guys are doing today, you're doing well. I hope you've had a fabulous day. I'm sorry that my camera lately has been in and out of focus. It's a struggle, but we wanted to vlog today. Currently, Larry's helping me tape up a big box that I'm shipping to my best friend for her birthday. Her birthday is coming up very soon, so I've sent her a box of goodies and a card, which is something that I'm really terrible at, and I swore I would do better with it this year. So very excited and it should arrive before her birthday which is perfect our longtime viewers will remember angela from one of your videos yeah target try on haul so and just like a fun day meet my best friend so she conked you right in the face with a high five yes exactly so larry is currently helping me tape up this box i used the fat fit fun box because i mean it's big it was perfect and i've just packed it loads of goodies for her I'm excited for her to get them. And then today, we are heading out. We're gonna go pick up my grandpa, actually, and we bought him a gift card for his birthday earlier this winter, and we're taking him to the bookstore. Grandpa loves books, he loves bookstores, but he never really gets the chance to go, so we called him up a couple of days ago, and we asked him if he would like to go, and he was so excited, and his reaction melted our hearts. Like, seriously, it was the cutest thing. So we're gonna pick up grandpa, take him out to the bookstore. We're going to, what's it called? Books a Million. Books a Million. We're Bam. gonna go there. Bam. And then we're gonna take him out to lunch and he would like to go to Cracker Barrel. And Cracker Barrel probably has their Halloween stuff out, so I'm excited about that. And I keep looking at the viewfinder. I know that annoys some of you, but what's more annoying though is when I upload a video and vlog and most of it is out of focus. So if I keep looking, it's because I'm checking to make sure we're in focus because I know that is so frustrating for you guys. It's frustrating for me at least. When I was editing it, I'm like, should I just like scrap this whole vlog and not film it or not upload it? Cause I was like, ah, the whole thing was like nearly out of focus. But anyways. It might be time for some new equipment. Yeah, I need to get new a new camera, but I just. <sighs> yeah. Larry and I have just picked up Subway. It is like 9.45 in the morning. That's the wonderful thing about Subway, is you can get lunch kind of foods. I'm not big into breakfast foods, but I'm excited because, how do we turn on? Turn on, hold on, I'm, I need to eat, clearly. I can't even figure out how to turn on the car. But we figured we would grab some food because we're not gonna really eat until we go out to lunch after the bookstore. And on my sub, I got a six inch, and I went for the gusto. I got turkey bacon, one slice of provolone cheese because I'm trying not to eat that much cheese. And then I also picked up cucumber, like all the vegetables basically, minus black olives. No black olives. No. Got a six inch, six inch sub on white bread with double bacon and American cheese. Yeah, yeah. So. Should we eat these on the go? Yeah. And then of course I asked my mom, I said, mom, do you want something from Subway? No, and then she texts me, how about McDonald's? So now we're going to head off to McDonald's before we go get Grandpa because she wants McDonald's. Got the McDonald's. Mom wanted pancakes, sausage, and eggs. So that's what's in here. Well, come on then. Just come in. Side note, I noticed there's more Mindy always drives. Why does Larry never drive in the comments? I get car sick. That is why. <laughs> <laughs> So. Hi. Hi! You ready for the bookstore, Grandpa? Yes. Sorry, we're late. We blame Mama. <laughs> How could we not love Grandpa? Oh, I'm over. <laughs> you know, I can sit in the back. There's nothing wrong with the back seat. <laughs> I, got the back seat. I hear there is an author you are looking for. Yes, Lisa Randall. Lisa Randall. All right, guys, we are off to the bookstore. She's written two books on, uh, they were building in, uh, I think, France, or on the border of France, um, a huge accelerator, the largest one 
Oh, so this is like point. scientific books. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's grandpa style. Yeah. You guys, are you allowed to say that you worked for NASA? Yeah, you're oh, allowed to say not. that. Yeah, no, no problem. I had my NASA shirts and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Grandpa's a genius, no joke. <laughs> genius man. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the movie's... Yeah, I think that is uh, either out or coming out. Yeah, I think it's coming out this October, the second movie. That's probably why this book is out. That is huge. <laughs> All the Halloween books should be out. Oh, there's Game of Thrones, Grandpa, the show that we watched. Yes, yeah, I see it. That's a good book. Yeah. Little Women. I believe the movie is coming out. It has Emma Watson in it. I have not read this. I should probably read it before the movie comes out. Oh, there's a bunch. Currently on the hunt for Lisa Randall. That is the author Grandpa is looking for. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find it and then bring him to the section. I just found the nonfiction area. I have no idea. Okay, so for Grandpa, they had one, but he already has this one, but yeah. They said that they could order whatever we wanted and ship it directly to our house, which is nice. Illustrated books. The Goblet of Fire is coming out this October. So excited! So here is the Sorcerer's Stone. If you guys don't know what they look like, they're just gorgeous. Halloween! And then the Chamber of Secrets. And these are illustrated by Jim Kay. And then here is the Prisoner of Azkaban. I am so ready for the fourth one to come out, the Goblet of Fire. Who is excited about that?
books. We'll show you the books when we get in the car, what grandpa picked out. Larry's browsing and I'm not gonna get anything because I'm going to save up for the new book that's coming out, The Goblet of Fire. It releases October 8th, which is my birthday. <laughs> which makes me so happy. I found some maps, but not the ones I'm looking for. Hmm. If I had a map, maybe I could find it. Maybe. <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> oh, look at these little babies. They're cute. Look at what I just found. It's a massive, beautiful, gray, soft Harry Potter themed pillow. Look at the earrings. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> There's so many beautiful things. It's a body pillow. It is $40. Look at that. <laughs> As you're leaving the post office, it's just guys just sitting there casually. We have come out to Cracker Barrel to have lunch. Grandpa ordered breakfast and Larry and I ordered lunch food and I'll show you guys what we get. And they also have their Halloween stuff out in the front store and Christmas. So I'm gonna show you some of that as well. Grandpa's food, yum yum. Nah. Larry's food, nah. What'd you find? Oh! <laughs> Can you hold, babe? Oh, they have a wand. It's probably Harry Potter's wand. I wanna see this book. The Essential Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. That's awesome. Show Grandpa. Grandpa, yeah. check that out. The Essential Tales and Poems. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like that a lot. The Danger High Voltage. Yeah, check this out, ready? Yeah. Oh! Well, well, well. Cracker Barrel has really stepped up their game, haven't they? We have all the fancy stuff out. I like the kitty mug. Very nice. It's this cute. Is 99. I like this shirt. Yeah, that's got you all over. I know. I like the material of it too. The Jack Skellington shirt. I forgot we had some of those. Yes, we do. Just gonna tour around the other side of this. <laughs> Classic ghost stories. Love this. I love this. How much is this? Ten bucks. Nine ninety-five. Oh, here's the shirts. Wow! Wow! Remind me never to do that again. That was the loudest thing ever. Oh, they don't have it in my size. Of course they don't. But they also have this one. Oh, that's Scooby Mystery Machine. I really like that Ghost Stories book. We might have to come back and get that. On the Mardi Gras mask. Aw, baby's first Halloween. That's cute. The record? The record? Oh, I didn't. Check that out. And this, how did I miss all of this? I love this. What's this? What's this? That's the dancing tree. $24.99. That's nice. Grandpa, how you doing? Pretty good. Good?
Reveal your book. Reveal the book. Yes. Very interesting cover. It's quite pretty. Is that the one you found? This is the one I found for Grandpa. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, ooh, it's so pretty. Had no idea if he would find it interesting, interesting or not. And there's um, lots of stuff for Grandpa to go through in here. Yep. Yes. Like everything. I like, the, I like the illustration. Yeah, it's pretty. It's gonna be fun to look at. And then, which one did you pick out yourself? This is the, uh, the space, space book. book. Yeah. Revised and updated space book by Jim Bell from the beginning to the end of time. 250 milestones in the history of space and astronomy. Yeah, Look. Are you happy with them, Gramps? Yes, indeed. Did you have fun? Oh, absolutely. Good. I've never been there before. We'll have to go again. Which one are you going to read first? Or are you going to flip back and forth between? Probably flip back and forth, yeah. Eee! This, I think, you know, be is kind of a, sl a slow read. Mm -hmm. You look into it for a while and read but then this would be more a straight. A straight read? Yeah. Very nice. Here we go with the Books A Million BAM store. We were going through some stuff last night. We came across a video clip of a talk show from the BBC, I think, that um, had Jude Law and Robert Downey Jr., and we were wondering, what movies did those guys make together? Well, we found out. It was Sherlock Holmes. So I went in search of, and I found both movies in this franchise. This one was five ninety five. This one was six dollars and ten cents. So I picked those up because we like those guys. So we'll check that out and see if those are any good. And I've purchased a book on cars. It was six dollars and ninety five cents. Cars. What did I open up to? It's like a Corvette from here. Am I right? No, it's one of those fancy crown cars. Fancy. Ooh, here's a uh, 1959 Cadillac, I believe. Yeah, cute book. This one's on cars. I've had this one for many, many years, and it happens to be on wildlife short stories because I can't go into a lot of detail because it's just a little guy. Not sure what that is because I can't see it. So the car book goes with the wildlife book and the two of them together take up that much space or that much space. <laughs> They're cute. And I said six ninety five. I don't know what I spent for this one, but I've had this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Two movies and a book. I've already changed my outfit into cozy lounge wear. These are I don't know. From Christmas, they have foxes, raccoons, raccoons, raccoons. hedgehogs. <laughs> That's just a very woodland, cozy lounge wear. I don't like to be uncomfortable when I'm home. It's literally like the first thing I do. Again, I'm not in focus. It kills me. <sighs> just opening all the blinds now, and then Larry and I are actually going to do a final paint coat on the office. So. You can see the ladder in there. I'm sure you guys have seen it multiple times, but we're going to paint in there because we have our friend is coming over tomorrow to kind of tape off, map out where we are gonna put the shelving. And I'm gonna do basically, I've been filming segments of us painting, and then it's gonna be just basically the making of the office room. Oh, that wasn't close all the way. So I have no idea when that video is gonna be up because it all depends on how much it's gonna cost. So we might have to do it in sections. You wanna go outside? Oh, I remember what it is everybody keeps asking about. The screens outside. You can't see me, but that's okay, because the screens you can see outside the pool area. That is very common in Florida. Those are called lanai's. Like, lanai. The lanai. L-A-N-A-I. <laughs> L-A-N-A-I. 
and it's a screen, like a screened in porch, and it basically keeps out unwanted guests, like snakes and alligators that would like to come into your pool, and we've, bugs. We've actually been visited by several snakes. Yeah, we've had snakes in our lanai before, but I think they've come in because we left the door cracked because we were filling the pool. But that is what those are. They are not glass. They are just kind of like a screened in porch area. That's what they're used um, for. All sides and the top. Yep, the whole thing, it's all screened in, quite nice. All right, guys, we're going to end this vlog here. We're going to get to painting, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.